Conveyor belts carry the various parts from their respective workshops to the main assembly line. This man takes the frame to his bench and fits the crank spindle, ball race hubs and gear wheel. That done, the back stay is fitted. With forks and mud guards attached, the assembly is put on the conveyor belt and carried to another section in the assembly line. To effect an easy fitting of wheels, a junior worker takes the frame to a lower travelling belt. The wheels are then fitted by skilled workers. Handlebars and brakes are the next additions after which they are checked and adjusted. Each stage of the assembly is marked off on a progress card. The fitting of saddles and tool bags completes the assembly. The bicycle is now ready for its final inspection. It then goes to a clearing department ready for dispatch to all parts of the world. These constant examinations are the manufacturer's guarantee of safety. And so that's how a bicycle is made? Yes. Careful designing, reliable materials and expert craftsmanship in every stage of manufacture turn out a British bicycle second to none. Hmm. What about the other models? Boys, racing cycles, ladies, the ones with the baskets in front, like Mother uses for shopping. <laughs> well, those models are manufactured in the same way. There are bicycles for all purposes, suitable for men, women, boys and girls. Here are some of them being taken out for a test run by the firm's test riders. A bicycle is a comfortable and cheap way of getting about. A great boon to man. Ideal for shopping. Easy to park. Handy for work. A faithful friend ever ready to take tired workers back home. And after work, to bring relaxation, health and happiness.